Hey guys, Jarek here, and it's time for the Airsoft Weekly Update number 6 or 7. I can't remember off the top of my head. The correct number will be in the uh, title. I guess I've been doing it for so long now that I do not remember the correct number, so uh, I guess sums up for a successful show. Anyway, let's move on to the first part of this video, and that is what I am still selling and what I have for sale. So let's go ahead and start with the Tactical Force Mac 11, $90, already made full videos on this. If you want any of these, and all of these have free shipping, if you want anything here, send me a personal message on YouTube, and uh, we'll go on from there. The Game Face Mayhem Gas Blowback Pistol made by KWC. I made full videos of this one last week, uh, so that was the featured video just a week ago. I noticed Evike has lowered their price on this down to $80, so I'm selling this for $80 now. I, I was selling it for $90. If you want to complain about any of the prices I have, like I said, I completely price match Evike. So if they lower their prices, I will lower my prices as well. Another good example of that is when I was selling the lever action, Airsoft GI and uh, Evike picked it up. When I got mine from across seas, and I actually lost money off selling that, uh, they got theirs, they were selling it for $170, so I lowered my price to $170. Uh, so yeah, there's really no reason to complain about the prices. If you are complaining about the prices, you really do not know what I am doing. I simply make videos on the stuff that I find interesting myself and then sell them later because I don't want to lose a bunch of money about, you know, buying guns that I'll never end up using myself. I only need two guns for myself, my primary and my secondary, or primary and CQB, so uh, that's all I really need to have around. The CYMA AEP 1911, I was selling this for $70. I'm going to lower the price down to $55 because this thing really doesn't sell that much. Uh, it's kind of rare, it's hard to find, it's a fat 1911, not really much more to say about it. Uh, so if you want it, $55 ship. The KJW 1022, which I still have yet to make videos of, selling this thing for $230. Uh, again, shipped, all of these have free shipping. The Double Eagle AEP, USP AEP. Uh, if you want this one, selling it for $75 shipped. I have not made videos on it, but I plan to make videos on this one uh, probably next week, but uh, I'll be making videos of it sometime soon. The HSC Colt 25, this is one of the guns that I will be making videos of this week. These things are only $15. These things are super cheap. Uh, it uses propane semi-automatic and it is non-blowback so a super cool tiny pocket pistol and the same goes for this thing gonna be doing a double feature this week uh, this is the other HSC pocket pistol again propane semi-automatic non-blowback and uh, $15 shipped as well and I, I got news for this one for a while I, I was thinking this was supposed to be a Makarov uh, this isn't supposed to be a Makarov I had people trying to tell me it's supposed to be a SIG P210 it was supposed to be a PPK which PPK these don't look similar at all, so no. Uh, this is actually supposed to be a Mauser HSC, which honestly I had not heard of that gun until uh, someone left it in the comments. I simply have the luxury of being near guns more than people, more than most other people do, just do a lot of target shooting, stuff like that. Uh, but I don't know everything, you know, I, no one knows everything. I had honestly never heard of the HSC before someone mentioned it, so to whoever left that in the comments, uh, thank you. I've been wondering what this thing was supposed to be for a very, very long time, and now we know it's a Mauser HSC. Uh, go ahead and YouTube it if you want to know what the HSC actually is. Uh, but yeah, Mauser HSC, this is going to be a double feature with the Colt 25 for this week's videos. And of course, I, I do have the L85, the WE L85, the gas pullback one, and I was actually going to make videos of that for this week. However, the, uh, you know, WE has absolutely amazing, great quality control, and the piston killed itself. Apparently, there was already a crack on the piston before I started shooting it, and uh, now the piston is broken. So the bolt's out of the gun, it's being RMA'd, it's being repaired, and that's the advantage you get when you order through someone like me that has tested the gun, you know it's working, or you order through a company that does test guns, uh, you will have a piston that doesn't explode on you. So I will be making videos of the L85, don't worry about it, uh, it'll come up whenever I get the repair parts back, probably next week, but if you don't see it next week, I just haven't gotten the repair parts here for yet. So once again, if you want anything I have here, go ahead and send me a personal message. Shipping is free, and it is on me. It will be shipped uh, FedEx ground unless you really want it to be shipped UPS. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and send me a personal message and we'll talk from there. And now let's move on to the Westboro Baptist Church of Airsoft. Once again, very, very small portion this time. Nothing like a five minute rant. Uh, of course, you know, Crazy NC Man being the uh, preteen girl trapped in a 40 year old man's body he is, he talks on Facebook a lot and uh, recently posted this on his status when I made last week's video and uh, most of it is just him pretty much denying what I said so it's not worth mentioning but some parts of it I did want to mention because they amused me greatly first part is him saying that apparently I only interact with the community I can control and moderate last time I checked I can't control any of the local fields I play out I can't control Airsoft Pacific I can't control anything outside of YouTube so or Machinima for that matter so 
I don't get his point there. Obviously, I'm not here to control other people. Which, by the way, I usually do play at airsoft matches once a month, so I am very active in the community. The next part is him saying, Folks, any reviewer that has to make five videos for one gun is not here for airsoft. They are solely here for views and after money and are wasting your time. Yes, how dare you give your subscribers more content in an easy to manage, organized fashion? How dare you follow through with such a good idea? I'm sorry, I couldn't say that without laughing. Obviously, what I do is very easy to manage. I do it because it is a good idea. And if you want to skip by the accuracy test or the teaser or the slow motion video and you don't want to watch that, you don't have to. You can watch just the review which has everything you need to know in under 10 minutes in a very entertaining fashion. I mean, hell, I lose money on a lot, a lot of the stuff when I sell it. I don't make money off of this stuff I sell. And for that matter, when I first started, I had an idea in my head, I'm going, Airsoft stores are really not taking advantage of YouTube. They are not making videos of every single gun. I had an image in my head saying, I am going to make a video about every single gun and really get the information out to the people before they actually buy the stuff they want to buy. That was what I had in my head, and no one back then at that time did that. There's really only a few other people I can list really doing that back then. Uh, I think Boomstick Cole is the only one off the top of my head I can list that was doing that at that time. And, uh, you know, he... I don't know why they they stopped making those videos. I honestly think it's kind of stupid they did. I kind of enjoyed watching them. I mean, they weren't amazing, but the, they were just someone talking about the stuff that they found kind of cool. So, yeah, he was really the only person doing it back then, and that's the image I had in my head when I first started the channel, and that's really why I started it. So, yeah, obviously not really searching for money off of what I do. It is how I pay my rent, but the fact that it pays my rent is a benefit to me doing my hobby. I didn't start out getting paid. And trust me, there's nothing more I want than to be involved in a respectful and helpful, supportive Airsoft community. And that's the side of the Airsoft community I have seen. A lot of it is very respectful. In fact, that is the vast majority of the Airsoft community. However, there is that small part of the Airsoft community that decides, I am going to show my stupidity. I am going to yell to the top of the world about why I hate this person who I have no logical reasons to hate whatsoever and I'm just reading off of stuff I read on other forums. Crazy NC Man is one of these people. He is someone that just simply wants to hate on people with no logical reasons. This comment you're seeing is a usual comment. This was left just a week ago. This is something he posts on a regular basis about me and about many other airsofters in the community just being themselves. So again, I like the helpful, respectful part of the airsoft community, but there are these loud idiots out there. And they are not the majority, they are the minority of the airsoft community, so don't feel bad to be involved in the airsoft community. Even if people like Crazy and Seaman do kind of make us look all hypocritical. Especially when you say stuff like, I'm here to help the airsoft community, look at all the good stuff I've done to the airsoft community, and then you start a massive fight online. That really makes us all look mature. In other news, I, I forgot to mention, I have ordered a JG Scorpion that is going to be for myself, but I will be making videos and reviews and stuff on that. It is not here yet. Uh, but when it gets here, after I finish the reviews of everything else, I make videos on the JG Scorpion, and you might see it sooner, uh, because that is the primary I will be using in CQB, in a new CQB place opened uh, near the airport down here in Portland, so um, yay for a Scorpion. Which, that also reminds me, the reason there is no uh, Airsoft Skirmish video this week is because the way I have to deal with Machinima, which I, I gotta be honest, I hate uploading to Machinima, it's a pain in the ass. So let me explain to you how you have to submit things to Machinima Sports or Machinima Respawn or Machinima in general. It has nothing to do with YouTube. You can't just simply click upload. That You can't do that. Uh, you have to upload the video into your Dropbox, upload a um, what they call a meta sheet, which is basically a bunch of text you edit in Microsoft Word, it has the, uh, the tags, and everything you see in the video information, including the tags, that's what the meta sheet includes, so they don't need to write it out. And uh, optional, you can add a thumbnail in there if you want a specific thumbnail. Uh, so once that's uploaded into your Dropbox, you send your contact over to Machinima an email, basically saying, hey, look, new video, and then you link them to your Dropbox, and then they'll upload it. And really, you have no decision on when that gets uploaded. Um, you can hope that you do, and you can try, but you really will not have... It's it's up to them. That's that's really it. And as of right now, Machinima Sports is doing a transition period. Apparently, they're going to be relaunching it. So my contact at Machinima Sports doesn't work there anymore. So right now, I'm going through an intern. Yay! Interns, if you have, interns are horrible. If you've ever have, ever had to deal with them, and this particular one, I'm pretty sure is just plain ignoring me because Machinima Sports and Machinima in general, they like you to keep your video under 750 megabytes. For a 10 minute long video, even even in 720p, that's pretty impossible without making the quality look like shit. So my last video is 1.22 gigabytes, and I'm pretty sure he's just plain ignoring 
uh, my email going, oh, that video is too big, and just not replying to me saying it's too large or anything because that's how they re how they deal with it. So that's why you've not seen a airsoft skirmish video this week. I have two others other than this one that has not been uploaded, which I'd love to upload and immediately get up to Machinima Sports, but I have to wait for them. So fucking enjoy. I hope, I really hope, when they relaunch Machinima Sports, it won't be this bad when it comes to the contact. On a related note, uh, my certain contract with Machinima is that every three videos I post to Machinima Sports, I have to post a video to Machinima Respawn, and obviously that's video game related, and I'm fine with that. Actually, I'd like to be able to post more to Respawn, uh, and right now I currently have a uh, series going on called Game Breakers, because uh, whenever I play a game, there's a lot of glitches, a lot of really funny moments, and that's basically what Game Breakers is, a montage of just funny moments where glitching happens and a game broke, hence the name Game, game Breakers. Um, so yeah, I, I want to kick that up, and after my next post to Machinima Respawn for Game Breakers, I'm going to continue that series on my channel and post a new Game Breakers video every single Monday until I at least run out of glitches, which will be a long time from now, or uh, I just don't feel like posting anymore. So yeah, uh, on my gaming channel, hopefully that will continue soon sometime, so there's news about that. If you want to subscribe over to my gaming channel, I'm trying to grow that one a little bit more. Annotation here, link down below in the video information. Go ahead and check that out and subscribe. I don't have any actual international airsoft news coming out. Uh, I haven't seen anything new. I usually look around online and try to check for new stuff and I haven't seen anything new as of late. If I'm missing something, I apologize, but that should be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the teaser. Actually, I'll see you guys in probably... 20 minutes after this video gets uploaded because I'll upload the teaser a little bit early just because I love you guys. Hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you in an hour or so. I need C4. They're mad and you didn't kill anybody. Oh god, where the fuck did he come from? <laughs> Holy shit! That was a 410 Derringer. Oh, got that bottle. Bingo! <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm not firing that. <laughs> <laughs>